This time I'm going to examine two different commands. One of them is symmetry that's going to create a copy of this object. And of course the original object is going to be lost. And mirror which is going to be a copy of the original object. But the original object is going to remain intact. So just to show you what is going to happen here. I'm going to make some changes to my original object. So I go to this plane. Go to sketch environment. And I'm going to... Uh, create a very simple object here like a circle and exit and this circle is going to be padded something like 20 millimeters this is my original object now if I wish to create a symmetry I need to have a mirror element let's say that I can use one of these faces one of the planes or a plane that I create I can do that I go to insert menu transformation features and symmetry is here i click on yes and now i can select one of the faces or a, a, a plane a pre-built one or something that i have created as the copy you know reference i click on here you can see that this is what is going to be created for me and if i click on ok you can see the original object is going to disappear there is no longer an original object in a symmetry command so let me press ctrl z and go for mirror command so if i go to insert transformation feature mirror command this is a kind of um, symmetry command but the original object is going to be there so you can say it says uh, the mirroring element what is the mirroring element i can again select one of the faces a plane or i can create a plane and you can see that if i right click here it gives me the option to create a plane I'm going to select this face and of course you don't have to select a plane on the object the plane can be far from the object but here I'm going to click on this and you can see a copy of the object is going to be created for me and it says um, what is the object that you wish to have you can clear the selection and select the object yourself if I click on that you can see that the pad one is selected I can, you know, uh, select the features or I can select the whole part body. But here, what I'm going to do is to add pad 2. So you can see it says two elements. And now I have all the objects that I wish to create a mirror from. So based on this, of course, you can select uh, to have other options like, um, you know, only this feature or only this feature or any other feature that you wish to have. But finally, you can click on OK and you can see that this is a mirror here. The nice thing about the mirror is all of the, you know, uh, the, the copy and the actual object are going to act like a, um, like a, you know, unique object, like one object. It doesn't, you know, uh, present itself as another object. Other than these small things that you can see here that they are uh, like um, you know individual objects for themselves